great, you know, it's going to be, it, it, it might, it's going to be a hit, but you never think that these things have any value beyond that. friendly after this number one record with the disc jockeys and the program director. So we'd want to know what our records would sound like on the radio. So we would call them up and say, there's something in the mail for you. But it wasn't payola. What it was, okay, was cheesecakes. <laughs> Jewish cheesecakes in the turf bakery. <laughs> you couldn't get a good cheesecake in most places of the world. This is going to come back and I'll tell you more about it a little later. <laughs> but we would send them the cheesecake, on top would be the acetate. They'd have the acetate, they'd eat the cheesecake, they'd tell us what time they're going to play it. We would drive to a spot where we could hear it. We'd know what it would sound like on the radio. If it needed additional mastering, we would change it. Cheesecakes, right? <laughs> Talk about cheesecake. Look at this bunch. <laughs> believe it or not, believe it or not, I am actually one of them. This, this, this is a strange love. And, and the strange love, what's interesting about the strange love was, remember all the girl groups and the girl building, all this stuff dried up. But we were songwriters still, and in order to be successful, at that time you had to be English. Uh, but we didn't think we could pass for, um, for British, so we became Australian. <laughs> and I told you before how Australians speak and everything. But true to the great American pioneering spirit, we realized that there were zebras in Australia. <laughs> so we had these zebra vests made, those leather pants. I mean, I wish I had them and looked that good in pants these days. Now I wear baggy jeans. We became the Strange Loves, named after Dr. Strange Love and How I Won the War, the great okay. Peter Sellers movie. Stanley Kubrick. Yeah. Stanley Kubrick, yeah, Stanley Kubrick film. And we became the Strange Loves. And we recorded uh, originally, and this, this ties into uh, the passing of a really, truly great, great artist of uh, this past week, Bo Diddley. Uh, Gene McDaniels, yeah, and, and a truly, truly great artist. So we went in and we had recorded uh, Bo Diddley, and we had this track, and um, we went in to play it for the great Jerry Wexler, who said, are you crazy, Ahmed? Get these fucking kids out of here, this sucks. <laughs> and you're 22 years old, you think, oh my God, the end of the world. Ahmed ran after us and said, Ah, he's just in a bad mood. Go see my friend Bert Burns. And we started a new label. Bert said, who the hell ever wants to hear you sing Bo Diddley? Let's restructure the song, use the rhythm, and write something that people are interested in. What were they interested in? There was a semi-soft, soft core porn book that was, that was banned at that time by a writer called Terry Southern. It was called Candy. I know that 